right, for block four, we're going to do a bit of strip piecing. This is a uh, block, um, not sure what it's called, double four patch. So we're going to cut two strips, one and a quarter, by about five and a half to six inches, and two squares that are two inches for our three and a half inch block. For the six and a half inch block, you'll need uh, a strip of your colored fabric and a strip of your background fabric that are two inches by about nine inches, and you'll need two three and a half inch squares. So this is gonna be done uh, strip pieced, so that makes it a little easier. You're not handling as many small pieces. We'll see how it goes. You're gonna sew your colored fabric and your background fabric together on the long side, quarter inch seam. I use a little bit shorter of a stitch length because I know I'm gonna be cutting across here and I don't wanna have um, my seams be super weak. So you're gonna press this open. And since it's batik, I can do a nice finger press and that'll work just great. Then what you're going to do is you're going to cut this into, see if I can do this in the small amount of space I have here. You're going to cut this into, trim off the edge even, and you're gonna cut this into four one and a quarter inch slices. And see how I make sure the edge of my fabric sits not on the edge of that line, but right under that little line there. Two. Three. And, ooh, that's an awkward angle. I'm gonna have to move this over. There we go. It's always better to move to a better angle. Those awkward angles can um, cause you to injure yourself. So you don't wanna do that. So you always wanna make sure that you can reach comfortably and, not, and aren't cutting at a weird angle. So you're gonna sew each of these pairs into little four patch blocks. You wanna sew them both the same way if you can, just because if you were working with uh, different varieties of fabrics, you could really get things misaligned. I like to always be consistent when I'm sewing just because I think it gives me a little better result. Trim those, and you can open these out. You have these nice little two-inch four-patch blocks. So for your six-and-a-half-inch square, your little four patches will measure three-and-a-half inches. I'm going to trim that little bit of thread there. So now you're going to sew these together into a bigger four-patch with your diagonal line there. You'll sew these just the same way you did that original four patch block. These seams to go toward your background and don't be afraid to give a little tug to bring it into alignment there. You can feel it nest under your fingers. Make sure that's laying flat. Don't give a little tug there. it. 
lock number four.